All right, I'm going to try to do the uh, rifle uh, today, the uh, Hawkins rifle that he's going to have uh, draped across his lap, I think. I haven't quite decided exactly where I'm going to put it, but I think that's probably where I'm going to place it. It's going to be in a sheath, and the only reason I'm doing that is because it cuts down on the detailing that always costs extra money when you try to get it cast. Uh, I'm always trying to save money because uh, there's a limit to what people will pay for a bronze. Time to play with some clay. got to do the foot. But you can see part of the wire framework on that. Mm -hmm. And this too. This this stick here, this uh, uh, wooden dowel, basically you attach the, uh, and I show how to make the armature. Okay. And um, I use that to support the armature because if you don't have something to support it it'll just fall over and you got to have an armature in a clay uh, or else it will fall apart but i and this is the uh, strap for the uh the uh st stirrup i just started adding clay now he's going to have a coat on that's going to come down over about this far here and I uh, just haven't gotten to that part yet but you got to kind of have the leg underneath the coat because the coat forms around the leg that's kind of like the knee now I'm not going into great detail of muscle okay because there's no need to because it's going to be covered with okay. a pair of pants anyway yeah but you have to have the basic shape of the leg so you have to do have to know the anatomy, and that's all you do. You just keep adding clay and then forming it with your finger. But I cover all this in, in uh, my videos. Okay. But you can see the general shape of the leg right there. Now I'll do the other side here. Now I need the, uh, the major muscle on the top of the leg first. But you, you still have to have the shape of the muscle. You don't want to make him too muscular. He's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's right. Come in and we'll take your picture, buddy. real person. <laughs> yeah. So I flatten out a piece of clay. And I want to show the clay, the uh, jacket is being bunched up. And so I kind of do that with the uh, clay that I attach to it. Anyway, and now I'm going to do the sleeve. Let's see. I'll start with the, uh, the hand here. Can you move that so you can cross that side? This, so he's like leaning forward? Yeah. Well, he's, he's leaning up in a saddle, kind of looking around the bend of the trail. Uh, is he on mountain? Huh? Is he on the mountain? Get your yeah. camera out and we can take a picture of you, brother. Looks like I'm very known. Beautiful. There's a book called uh, Journal of a Trapper a by Osborne Russell. He talks about yeah. running into Jim Bridger and a bunch of flathead Indians at uh, Henry's Lake down straight down south of here, about 40 yeah. miles. Really? Yeah. Look at his Yeah, they, they, they were camped on the he's north big. shore. If you're talking about yeah. together. 
Yeah. And they had a battle with some Indians about 30 miles south of here in a campground. This guy went through the flats? Yeah. And they, in the Blackfeet, and uh, their village was where the campground is, just south of here, about 30 miles of, on Indian Creek. That's pretty cool. Well, it's actually on the Madison, but it's at Indian Creek where you turn off and then you go down to the uh, campground. Kind of history anchored to the area. That's the sleeve. And then I just start building up wrinkles. And so these these are complicated. I mean, which I just put one of his stirrups on. They're carved wood stirrups. It's a Spanish style stirrup for the uh, Spanish saddle he's riding. And uh, I just uh, got done uh, creating the uh, stirrup for the other side, so I'm getting ready to put that one on too. All right, be right back. I'm gonna try to get that over the lake, or over his foot. I am, I'm gonna try to put the uh, stirrup on his foot here. And we'll see if we can get that on there, right? Let's see. Yeah, that's the side I want. I better, I better widen that hole a little bit. Be right back. And the strap to the saddle, which just broke. <laughs> What's that? Sorry, rain. Yeah, I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. Don't get wet. <laughs> it sounds like that's Yeah, it looks like it. All right, that's going to be it for today. I can't. I've been talking a lot to people today, but uh, not a lot of sculpting. These uh, stirrups took a little time because I had to measure the foot and I measure the uh, size to go with the uh, size that the uh, stirrup would have been, and uh, got a lot. I got a lot of stuff to do on this piece yet. The detail work is what takes time. But anyway, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow and uh, have a great night. And uh, hope you have a great start of the weekend. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.